Alright, so then you just previewed here again. I'm doing a collection video this time, my rental videos. This is the longer version where I'm going to go through them in detail. So if you don't want to see this, I'm going to put a link into the shorter version, which is just list them off in the annotations now. Anyways, let's get started. First off is my preset big box, of Wizard of Oz, on MGM UA. You see, for some reason, it's from 1984. Let's see. Golden sticker label and stupid today. Close, damn you. Hold on. Thanks, we got a basic instinct. It comes in the retail box, but it's time coded, so I count it as rental. Sticker label and nothing printed there. Next one is Kentucky Fried Movie on EIV. Comes in the retail case, but I think it's actually for rental on the side because of the label. No, I can't it. Next is my NTSC rental, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. On Osseo Columbia. This is the label, and this comes from the Mary Jacobs Library. Comes from New Jersey. Next, my two cut downs. Crocodile Dundee 2 on the CIC. It's annoying to have cut downs. Uh, stick label and PG stick. It's there. For some reason, don't know why. Next is Super Mario Brothers on EIV. It's apparently quite hard to find, so. And the film's not much top. Stick label. Next, my small box, Batman Returns, on Warner. This is one of, like, not very many that Warner did small boxes of, but a reasonable amount. Next, I'm getting on to all my big boxes. First one, I actually start with my first rental ever, The Education of Little Tree, on the CIC. I got this at a fair when I was about nine. I had no idea it was a rental until recently. Uh, no, no problem. Next is Awesome Powers 1 on Pathé. Like Fox Pathé distribution. Got a Guildham video label. And an end label for content advisory. Speaking of Awesome Powers, I also got number 3. All on the EIV this time. Sticker label and I can print it there. Next, I got the Perfect Storm on Warner from Blockbuster. A lot of these come from Blockbuster. Maybe that's like the most prominent place. Sticker label and label for content advisor. Next is Mission Impossible 2 on Paramount. Also from Blockbuster. There's a sticker label and Stuff printed there. It says UK and Era for some reason. I don't know why, but. Next is The Company 2. A Warner, which comes in its original rental case. It has got a blue lid for some reason. It's the label. And label. And the uh, hologram there. It's a shiny light on that. Next, there's another Warner, Deep Blue Sea, which is, well, yeah. stick label and label content advisory. Next one is Savage Justice on Brave World. Pretty obscure film, probably the most obscure of all these stand rentals. It doesn't have a label for some reason, but it's got this, uh, just to confirm it's genuine. Next, we've got Terminator 3 on Columbia, which is one of my more recent rentals. There's no label of the content advisory. Most of these have like, end labels of content advisory. Next, Sandstorm, which is a release from these people. Showcase Entertainment slash Third Millennium Distribution. Stick the label, and there's a print date of September 28, 2000. 
Next is Erin Brockovich on Columbia. Got quite a few of these things. It says Sarah Garner, the address there. So hopefully there will be no side effects of me showing the address. And if I don't if I don't like the video, I can just send it go back to your house and say, Oi, don't like this. Next Matrix Reloaded on Warner. One of my more recent probably my most recent Warner. The tape is blue for some reason. I don't know why, like Warner Rentals from about 2001 had blue videos. If anybody could care to tell me, then that'd be nice. Next is The Sixth Sense on the Hollywood Pictures. This is M. Night Shyamalan Lam's only good film. Well, that and Signs. It's an end label telling you to buy a runaway bride. Next is The Wedding Singer on the EIV. Apparently one of Adam Sandler's only decent films. He's been in a lot of crap fest recently. That Adam Sandler him. Next is one of my most valued ones for Wizard on Guild. It's my only Guild rental. It's not really a very good film, but it's a good tape to have. This is Original Seagull letters. I'm not sure if it's in... I mean, it's German for Original Seal. I'm not so sure if I'm saying it right, but... Next is Planet of the Apes on Fox. This isn't a very good film. I do like Tim Burton, but there's an end label for Content Advisor. Next is a sample tape, Crocodile Dundee in LA. Warning, this film includes a short scene which contains a strobing effect, which may include may affect views of photosensitive epilepsy or other such conditions. Don't see why we put that warning on a sample copy. Oops. There we go. That's a rather bland sticker label and that. Next is the X Files One Son on Fox. From Fox Cafe Entertainment. Sticker label and an end label for Fox Advisory. Next one is for Mommy Returns on Universal. Open, like most rentals from Universal. Blockbuster stock, I don't know what's different about that. And label for Fox Advisory. This one is for Manami Iron Mask on MGM UA. It's my only poster, poster MGM rental. Hey, open. There we go. A sticker label and an end label for Content Advisory. And this Blockbuster sticker there and there. Next is the Parole Officer with Steve Coogan on Universal. Comedy, yes. I wonder if I did that on a lot of the uh, rentals. A sticker label and label for Content Advisory. Next is Leo and Stitch on Disney. It's a sticker label with Elvis Stitchley and the print date is March 50,003. Next one is Death Machine on EIV. I'm assuming it's quite an obscure film. I looked it up and it apparently gets got a lot of controversy for its violence. Stick a label and stuff in here. Come on. There we go. Next, yippee guy yay motherfucker, it's Die Hard 2 on CBS Fox. Number one US cinema smash, number one UK cinema hit. Couldn't they just combine with two? Stick a label and that there. Next one is Gladiator on Universal, which is one of the like, few films I have here that actually got nominated for Oscars. No, it won Oscars. But... Next one is another Universal about a boy, which is from 2002, I think. There's a sticker label and end label for Advisory. Next one is Gosford Park on EIV. I've heard very good things about this film. I haven't watched it yet, so I'll have to wait and see before I agree with those views. There's a place called Variety Video. Next one is Oliver and Company on Disney. Which is, I think, 
has to be the first release of the film if it's rental. There's the sticker label and the print date is April 9th, 1997. Next one is Hannibal on Universal. Sticker label and the print end label of content advisory. That's say and the print date is, but Universal Videos didn't have print dates and also as an end label there. Next I got Revenge of the Nerds 2 on CBS Fox. Oh no, Pair Civilian! It's a sticker label and an end label with the trailers on it, which is amusing. Next is Ghost Worlds on Icon with Scarlett Johansson and whoever she is. It's a sticker label and an end label of content. This is a co-release with Warner. Shows because most of the Warner traditions are on there. Next is In the Line of Fire on Columbia, which is one of the most recent ones I got. Actually, the most recent one I got. There's a sticker label of this lid there, which is cool, and and the, and the security seal. Kind of rental help security seal. Next is Rover Dangerfield, or is it? Actually, it's not. It's Rock a Doodle. I don't know if you can there. Got both the labels. A bit misleading. Ironically, the first trailer on this is for Rover Dangerfield. Next is Apollo 13 on CIC. This is one of the later Universal CIC releases. I think I stopped that in about 97 or 98. I don't know. I may be wrong, but I probably am wrong. Next is My Little Eye on Momentum. 18, check age now, or else. A stick label and there's a print date of January 22nd, 2003. Next one is The Silence of the Lambs on 2020 Vision. And that concludes the worst Hannibal impression ever in the history of everything. This a stick label, comes from a place called Ritz, and there's this label there. This comes in an embossed case, which is cool. Ow! I'm gonna prick my finger on this case. Next is Deep Impact on CIC. Technically CIC. This is before 2000. There's a sticker label and there's a print date of October 21st, 1998. Final video for today is The Usual Suspects on Polygram. This is probably the longest trailer reel I've ever seen. It's just under a half an hour. That's a sticker label and an end label of content. That's it for today's video. If you want me to do the openings to any of these apart from what I've done, just let me know and I'll do them.